All right, welcome back to the Knives Fast channel, guys. Say hello to Ren and Stimpy, Powder Test Man, Login TV, and let's get started with what's going to be a pretty brief video. Um, I got this uh, Tempest Knives pinion. Tempest Knives is obviously my brand, my design. I got this pinion back uh, from a bunch of reviewers, and it was pretty gross. <laughs> and it needs to be sharpened. It needs to be cleaned. I've been carrying it a little bit. Uh, but I decided to go ahead. I finally had some time, so I took it apart, cleaned it up, and I just wanted to do a video that'll post close to when uh, the pinions are being delivered. Um, and I wanted to give a couple of things. Uh, first of all, uh, it does come, uh, it, it, again, what you're seeing here is the prototype, but it's going to come with um, 5 millimeter 1 16th bearings. Um, they will be stock bearings, but because... Uh, they are that size on the final version. These are not that size, but because they are now that size on the final version, you can replace them with skiffs, five millimeter, one sixteenth. Uh, here is your pivot screws. And again, uh, they will be this finish, the more shinier finish like this one. Uh, and they will be T8, uh, which these are currently very, very cool. It does come uh, with the wire pocket clip, but guys, as I've said before, you can replace this with a, with a Lynch, man, I need to clean that a little bit, a Lynch uh, wire clip replacement. Uh, where is the alcohol part of the, there we go. Um, and you can tell that's the alcohol part because it's where I've been <laughs> cleaning everything and it was gross, gross, because it's been around about 10 different channels. This one has, plus I carried it some. Um, and then, of course... Uh, you know, nothing special about the liners. They're just basic uh, steel liners with lots. And everybody's asked me how much milling. Um, you know, I could probably have, have, have gone for a little bit more, but this is the pattern they suggested. And I went with it. So, uh, you know, I'm good with the weight. We're, we're going to be around 3.7, 3.8 ounces on the, on the final, which the blade obviously is going to be a little bit um, longer then this, it's two millimeters longer, and it's going to be 14C. Oh, shoot. I got a, I knew I forgot to do one thing. We'll just do this on camera. I forgot to... Uh, I did take... Uh, so there's a couple things you need Q-tips for, uh, in my opinion, on this knife, uh, just because it'll make it easier. Um, to clean the fuller here, I did that already. I got in there with a Q-tip, and then uh, I, I usually, on most knives, I just kind of get in this part with a Q-tip. Uh, just, you know, and then I'll clean it up, you know, and oil it, obviously, before I put it back together. So I knew I forgot to do something, and that's what it was. So we'll get that all nice and polished. And then also sometimes I'll just take the, and do the same thing right here with the, uh, just in case any kind of gunk is gotten down in there uh, in the, uh, well, I'm not really showing it, in the um, uh, the detent. And you can see how this one's worn in really, really nicely. Very good. Um, so really excited guys. These will be coming, uh, by the time you see this, they'll be coming very soon. Scales are very simple, but obviously with the, uh, liners being inset, um, they're hollowed out. Very cool. Uh, yeah. So that's about it. I will finish this video by just showing you, uh, it put back together and, uh, that'll be that. So stand by for, yeah, I don't show me doing this guys. I am fumble fingers. Okay. I've got a little bit of arthritis in my fingers. I don't like to talk about it. But I, I am not the guy you want to see. It, it, it takes me entirely much longer than if you watch somebody like Kevin or Bees or whoever do a, an assembly and a disassembly. It's actually fun to watch. It's not fun to watch me do this. So there you go. So, But I'll come back and guys just show the final product and maybe have a couple more things to say. All right. And there is your fully reassembled Tempest Knives Pinion prototype in this case. Uh, action is back to... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did you see that? Oh, yeah. Uh, super nice. Again, I shouldn't be playing with it because I just put, uh, in this case, Vibratite blue on it. Uh, Lockup is back to where it should be. And yeah, this one's dead centered. So really good. At plenty of KPL in that one. Uh, and guys, if you don't remember, I am an affiliate with KPL. You can use code KnivesFast at KPL's website, kpl.com, I think, knivepivotlube.com, uh, and you can get 10% off. So there you go. I hope you guys are ready for your pinion to get there. Uh, I am definitely ready to get them to you. Thank you so much for your support, and I know you're going to enjoy this one when it gets there. 
and uh, going to uh, hone this one up a little bit, probably just, um, uh, wow, strop it, and uh, that's that. So thank you guys so much. Appreciate it, and have a great one. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching. Oh, by the way, thank you for supporting Tempest Knives and for watching the Knives Fast channel.